please stand, gentlemen, and remove your caps, and let's pray. We are all gathered here today to celebrate this special moment, for this moment will carry us far and wide to complete the call you have placed on each of our lives, Father. Father, I ask that every person under the sound of my voice that you will grant an abundance of prosperity and success. May you guide this service in our steps each day from this day forward. Father, bless each instructor, faculty, and staff who has helped this very day come true for all of us graduates. However, you are the reason we are celebrating this beautiful occasion. We love and thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Bevel State Community College graduation ceremony. On behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and students, I would like to thank everyone for joining us on this special occasion. Today marks a milestone in the lives of so many of our students and their families. As we begin today, I would like to introduce our stage guest for this afternoon. Guests, please stand and be recognized as I call your name. John Skolnick, Vice President of Administration and Finance. Dr. Joel Haygood, President. Dr. Leslie Hartley, Vice President of Instructional and Student Services. Isabella Willingham, student speaker. Al Moore, Dean of Workforce Solutions and Economic Development. We also have some special guests from the Alabama Community College System here with us today. Zach Lee, Regional External Affairs Liaison. Taylor Hillier, Financial Aid Veterans Affairs Coordinator. Tessa Brown, Assistant Director of Strategic Enrollment Management and Early Programs. Thank y'all for being here. <laughs> also joining us this afternoon are other college-wide administrators. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized. Maurice Engel, Director of Career Technical Education. Tana Collins Allrad, Director of Enrollment Management, Public Relations and Recruiting. And I don't believe Lisa Stevens is with us. So, okay. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> now, to our graduates, thank you for choosing Bevel State to be a part of your educational journey. Your story does not end with this degree or certificate that you are getting today. It is only the beginning, and we look forward to seeing what the next chapter holds for you. Congratulations. Well, I'm honored to be with you this afternoon as we gather to celebrate our spring graduates. And I'm so thankful that we could do it in this auditorium together, considering the circumstances we've been under for the last two years. Students, you've worked hard and persevered to get here today. But I can assure you that productive struggle will serve you well as you move forward with your next phase in life. Students, no one is really self-sufficient. We're all interconnected with various, indivi various individuals, groups, and organizations. We all have those in our lives who are sources of encouragement and inspiration. And I know that our wonderful faculty and staff is one such group that has served as that source for you. Please stand at this time, faculty and staff that are here with us, and join me in recognizing them and thanking them for their contribution. I'm also certain that family and many friends have filled this role for you as well, most in this audience here today. So I ask that we acknowledge and thank them at this time as well. <laughs> Students, I'm now confident that you have the knowledge and skills to continue along your chosen path and to be successful. 
That may be plans to go to a four-year institution or to enter the workforce with a career tech certification or maybe employment as a nurse. Whatever the case, you are prepared. Our mantra at Bevel State is your story starts here. Your time here, I know, has equipped you to continue writing your story. Now go write your masterpiece. I wish you nothing but the best with future endeavors. Please know we are your community college and here to help in any way. Congratulations, God bless, and as always, go Bears. I now have the pleasure of awarding the C.I. Jones Award. In 1998, C.I. Jones established a charitable trust for the Walker College campus. In addition to other considerations given to the campus, he also provided a gift to be presented each year at the commencement exercises for the purpose of, and I quote, publicly awarding at commencement exercises a medal to the student who has the most outstanding scholastic record during the current year. The bequest shall be known as the C.I. Jones Memorial Gift. Upon the recommendation of the Jasper campus faculty, this award is presented to a student graduate. And over the years, the C.I. Jones Award has become a prestigious recognition. Today, it is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2022 C.I. Jones Award is Frankie Stinnett. Frankie, please come forward at this time. I also have the privilege of introducing our guest speaker for today's graduation ceremony. Isabella Willingham completes her Associates in Science degree in General Studies today. During her time at Bevel State, Bella was Ambassador President, Student Government Association Vice President, a member of the tennis team, a member of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society, and a Bevel Scholar. Upon graduating today, she will be transferring to the University of Alabama in the fall to pursue her degree in secondary education mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Isabella Willingham to the podium at this time. Thank you, Dr. Haygood. I am honored and a tad bit nervous that I was chosen to give the graduation speech today for the class of 2022. I would like to begin by telling you why I chose to attend Bevel State Community College. Bevel State has many attributes that make it an ideal place to start your college career. With four main campuses, it is easy to find a convenient location. There are a variety of classes from face-to-face -to, -face to online, and our new favorite word, virtual. New athletic programs are also popular, such as the tennis team, which I never thought I would be a part of. But I must tell you, in my opinion, the best thing about Bevel is the faculty and staff. Every professor here truly wants you to succeed. The support is incredible and was shown through the trials and adversity that we have all had to face. I graduated high school in 2020, or as I like to call it, the COVID class. I know you all remember that year. Some of your memories might include not getting to have a prom or a proper graduation. Other memories could be a loss of a loved one or a family member. 
but I would like to commend this group of students sitting in front of me today because we did it. We are graduating, but we did not do it alone. I want to especially thank the professors and advisors because without you, we wouldn't be sitting here today. My first semester at Bevel State was virtual and I was very nervous because it was a new experience for me, but it was also a new experience for our professors. And I would like to especially thank them for being so helpful and answering my very many questions through email because if you know me personally, you know I always have a lot of questions, but I am very grateful for how helpful each of you were. For many reasons, the coronavirus did cause a lot of people to delay their college plans but you all went the extra mile to ensure we were successful. In these past two years, I have learned and grown so much, but I don't want to say that I'm just talking about book knowledge because I also picked up some qualities from some of you that can't be learned from the books. Now I have a story to tell. During basketball season this past year, you could catch me in the gym working the concession stand or working admissions. And during that time, I learned a lesson that couldn't be taught from books, humility. During one game, I discovered that the bathroom toilet was clogged. I thought, oh great, this is just perfect. But there is no way I'm unclogging that toilet. And a couple moments later, Dr. Haygood happened to walk in and I just mentioned it to him. He walks out of the room and the next thing I know, he's coming back in with his dress sleeves rolled up and a plunger in his hand, ready to get the job done. In that moment, I felt like the smallest person on earth because here I was thinking I was too good to unclog a toilet and I'm just a student here at Bevel. Dr. Haggard's the president, <laughs> but he's not the only one that taught me a valuable lesson. From Miss Beth Roberts, who is over student services, I learned about dependability. Thank you for being my rock and helping me in more ways than I can count. From Miss Tana Allred, I learned about selflessness. Thank you for being so involved around the campus and capturing every moment on camera. And I must express to you how full her camera roll must be because she takes pictures of everything. <laughs> Miss Anna Sizemore deserves an honorable mention for not only leading the ambassadors, but for always being a phone call away. Literally, I remember one time I texted her late at night when she was off the clock because I waited last minute and needed a letter of recommendation, which she so happily typed up for me. And I would like to say thank you to Mr. Mayhall for showing understanding. One day, I may have forgot that we were supposed to have a test in his class, and I ended up having a mental breakdown in the hallway and crying. But he was very understanding and helped me through that. And last, but certainly not least, Thank you, Mr. What, my speech teacher my first semester here at Bevel. You taught me courage. Don't you say that people fear public speaking more than they do death? If you enjoyed this speech, you can thank Mr. What because he taught me everything that I know. However, if you didn't think the speech was good, you can also thank Mr. What for teaching me everything that I don't know. In conclusion to my fellow graduates, we are each on our own path to success. We have taken different steps to get where we are today. Some of us are starting our careers and the rest of us are going to transfer to further our education. Today, May 12th, 2022, is a day of celebration. It is not the end of our path, but only the beginning. We graduates are now a product of Bevel State and we are the future. Thank you. It is my privilege to present the following candidates for graduation with Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and certificates. Candidates, please stand and proceed to the stage.
Isabella Marie Willingham, Associate in Science, Cum Laude. Joseph Daniel Aaron, Associate in Applied Science, Advanced Engineering Design Technology, Cum Laude. Anna Allred, Associate in Arts. Elizabeth Danielle Barnes, Associate in Arts, in Science. Rodney Contino Beckham, Associate in Science. Keandra Bell, Certificate Practical Nursing. Sydney Lynn Borden, Associate in Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Crystal Busby, Associate in Applied Science, Office Administration and Technology. Ryan O'Neill Childers, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Jessica Nicole Colburn, Certificate Practical Nursing. Aaron Wayne DiMarzio, Associate in Applied Science, Advanced Engineering Design Technology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Gabrielle. Emily Gabrielle Dykes, Certificate Practical Nursing. Jessica Joy Day Foy, Associate in Science. <laughs> Holly Elizabeth Gann, Certificate Practical Nursing. Avery Graham, Associate in Science. <laughs> Caitlin Griffith, Associate in Science. Crystal Michelle Guthrie, Associate in Applied Science, Child Development. Kristen Rose Harbison, Certificate of Practical Nursing. Veronica Hardin. Associate in Applied Science, Welding Technology.
Ian Joseph Hokut, Associate of Applied Science, Machine Tool Technology. Zaki Holliday, Associate in Science. Brandy Nicole Johnson, Associate in Science. Charlsetta Johnson, Associate in Applied Science, Child Development, Cum Laude. <laughs> Nick Keaton, Certificate Practical Nursing with Distinction. Lindsay Nicole Kelly, Associate in Science. Devin Tyler Lowe, Associate in Science, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher Drew Martin, Associate in Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Allie Brooke May, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Dustin Luke McDonald, Associate in Applied Science, Vehicle Technology and Repair, Cum Laude. Megan Jordan Minor, Certificate Practical Nursing. Amanda Lee Nichols, Nicholas, Associate in Arts. Madeline Reese Phillips, Associate in Science. Amy Karina Ponce, Associate in Science. Laura Grace Rickard, Associate in Arts, Cum Laude. <laughs> Megan Leanne Simpson, Certificate Practical Nursing. <laughs> Samantha Page Steffen, Associate in Arts. Frankie Stinnett, Associate in Science, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Chelsea Renee Stowe, Associate in Science, Cum Laude. Cannon Kenowen Taylor, Associate in Science. <laughs> Sh 
Sheridan Riley Thacker, Associate in Applied Science, Office Administration and Technology. Emmy Grace Webster, Associate in Applied Science, Salon and Spa Management, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Kenneth Ryan Wiley, Associate in Science. Candidates, please stand. Dr. Haygood, the faculty and I are recommending for graduation from Bevel State Community College these candidates who have met all the requirements for their degree or certificate as prescribed by the Alabama Community College System and Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dr. Hartley. With approval of the faculty and upon the certification of the chief academic officer that you have fulfilled all requirements for graduation and by the authority vested in me by the Alabama Community College System and Board of Trustees, I am pleased to confer upon you the appropriate degree or certificate with all rights, privileges, and responsi responsibilities appertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the 2022 graduates of Bevel State Community College. Congratulations. Let us pray. Please stand. Let us pray. Thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us and for allowing everyone to be here to celebrate our achievements as we have graduated. Thank you for being with each one of us throughout our time here at Bebel. I'm so grateful, as I know everyone else is, for all the opportunities and experiences that we've had at Bebel that have shaped us and helped us to grow personally and academically. Our time here has taught us a lot, but most of all, that with you, a lot of hard work and perseverance, anything is possible. Be with us as we go into the workforce or continue our education at a new school. Please help us to follow you in all that we do and as we pursue our career. In your name, amen.